Hey guys, welcome back to the Outdoor Navigator. Today, we're going to be doing a gear review of the Plano Soft Crate. And I'm going to show you how you can get all this stuff into here. And if you're a kayak fisherman, you're going to like this crate. Be right back. Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about the Plano Soft Crate. Uh, like most of you, when I started into kayak fishing, I was using just your standard milk crate, plastic milk crate, and it worked fine, okay? I was able to take my boxes and I could fit them in there, okay? Whenever I went fishing with my buddies, what would always happen is I would have my milk crate tied into my kayak. I'd have it anchored in. So anytime that I went with my buddies, I had to sit here and try to grab all my boxes and stuff. All right, guys, you know, uh, I'll be there in a little bit. I just gotta go find a bag to put all my stuff in. So that's what always happened to me. It just wasn't all that convenient. It was good for holding everything in my boat, but if I wanted to change boats or anything else, I would have to untie this or I would have to find some kind of alternative to take my tackle with me. So, I was like, I need something that I can use that I can transfer from point A to point B, from one kayak to the next, and if I get lucky, one of my buddies with the boat calls me, then I can just pick up and go with all my tackle. So guys, the old milk crate was really useful, but after I found this, hey, I had to find other uses for it, and for right now, this is going to be good. All right, so the Plano Soft Crate. All right, so it comes when you buy it, okay? You get two saddlebags, okay? It actually comes with two uh, 3,600 Plano tackle boxes, okay? And they fit right inside the saddlebag, okay? This box here, if you had another one, it also fits uh, up here in the top. So this here in the top, this top flap, it will actually hold one also. All right, so you could actually have three tackle boxes within this, okay? Keep your tackle in, if that's how you chose to use it. But the good thing about this is it's very versatile. All right, so me personally, this is how I use it, okay? I have a bunch of 3700 series uh, Plano stowaway, tackle boxes okay so the way that I use these first thing I do is I stick a label on top okay so when I turn around in my seat I can see what's in each one all right so these 3700s I can fit one two three four five six all right, I can sit six, six of them in there. Now, with the 3600, I read that you could put nine in there total. Okay, so if you wanted to use a smaller uh, box, you could do that. Uh, like I said, the versatility is what makes this so great. Now, the saddlebags, what I like to do, uh, I like to fish plastic worm a lot. I Texas rig, so I'll have one bag full of just, okay, my worms, my plastics, all right? So I'll just put them here in the saddlebag. All right, on one side. 
zip it up and as you can see all right it's got clips on it so it attaches to the bag but if i wanted to just go fishing and take this with me hey it's got a carry handle i can just take this by itself okay got a lot of different options we'll go ahead and just snap it back on here all right so got that side you see on this other side what i put in it is i'll put my trailers okay some of my plastic trailers lizards flukes stuff like that all right and once again it detaches uh, it's made out of a water resistant material uh i haven't really been out in the rain a whole lot with it so i can't really give you any feedback on how resistant it is but you all know how water resistant is okay water usually uh, gets in so anyway i'm sitting here i've got my 63700s i got my worms i got my trailers okay i got that all in there up here in the top if i want it to okay i could get me a box you know put me some hooks in it some sinkers okay one of these 3600s and it fits right in the top okay it clips in also all right so i clip it in now if i had a catastrophe on my kayak and it's turned upside down you know hopefully this will keep all this all the inside from coming out okay you can tighten them up real tight and uh I also you've got some room enough all right and if you look down inside here okay we've got this little divider you can actually take this out and position it ever how you want to but all right i've got me uh wet weather gear i can put it in there okay i can put my fish uh, measuring board in there uh put all kinds of other stuff in there you know it's all up to you you've got you've got so many options with this thing so anyway we get everything buckled in and like I was telling you, the coolest thing about this is, is you can take it with you, okay? So if that buddy calls you and he wants to go fishing, you don't have to sit there and find something to put all your stuff in, okay? It comes with a carrying strap. So all you gotta do is clip into that. I've got some D-rings that I added to it, and I'm gonna show you what those D-rings are for here in a minute. All right, so clip it in like that. And now we're ready to go. Okay, guys. So, like I've shown you, you got the strap here. You put it on, and you can take it with you. Okay. So, like I was telling you, in the old days, which is the standard crate, I'd have all my tackle in there. You know, here's my boat right now. Okay, I got my crate. My crate is anchored in to my boat. Okay. So, if I have a catastrophe, if my boat turns over, I'm not going to lose this. All right, so what you do is you just take it, you set it down in your crate, okay? And it fits all standard size crates. All right, so I just put it inside there. All right, I put this D-ring on here. I'm not going to need this handle while I'm in the boat, okay? So I'm going to take this D-ring. I'm going to clip that one in. I'm going to come over to the other side. I'm going to do the same thing, okay? Take that carrying strap off. I'm going to clip it in. Okay. Now I can just take my strap, keep it with me, stick it down inside there. All right, so now what that did was the crate's anchored in, and now the soft crate is anchored to the hard crate. Boat turns over. It's not going anywhere. As you can see, got my saddle bags here you know they're all set up so i can access that one okay i got this one back here i can reach back here and get it or if you want to hey you can unclip it you can bring it up front with you i can just put it up under this seat okay so i can get to everything really easy all right so now let's say i don't want to take this boat okay this is my pedal drive kayak i usually use it on lakes okay small lakes but when i go stream fishing a lot of times i'll take my ascend my fs12t all right so 
Hey, it's this easy. I'm going to take it. I'm going to unclip. Alright, I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to go ahead and get my... Don't want to leave this. Grab my handle here, I pull it out, bring it over here to my other one. All right, and it's a standalone, okay? So, you know, I don't need a hard crate to put it in, okay? I can bring it over here, okay? And then I can work my magic and, you know, put my straps around it ever how I want to, clip into them, okay? It's whatever, but real easy. All right, guys, so, We'll go ahead and wrap up this review. So the Plano Soft Crate. Okay, so I'll give you the pros. What's the pros? The pros is it holds a lot of stuff. Okay, like I was telling you, uh, you can put nine thirty-six hundreds in there. I've got six thirty-seven hundred Planos. Uh, the top piece I hold a thirty-six hundred tackle box. The two uh, saddlebags will. You can. It's versatile, okay? Another plus, so versatile. I can do about anything with it. I, I carry my soft plastics and my trailers in the bags. Uh, you can put whatever you want it to in there. You can put other gear, okay? It's all up to you. I mean, the, the possibilities are unlimited, you know? Inside here, I've got room, okay? I can put my wet weather gear, okay? If you got a, some kind of measuring board, you can put it in there. If you had a scale, you could put it in there fishing line I mean just you know so many things you could do with it uh, it's sturdy construction it's standalone so I don't need to set it in a crate if I don't want to okay something else it has hey I almost missed that it's got molly webbing okay it's got molly webbing here on the side it's got molly webbing on the two saddlebags so hey you could hang some more pouches on it you know, and you can't go wrong. I mean, it's cool. You got pouches, you got zippers, you got flaps, you got Velcro, all the things that make something cool. And hey, each one of these has a little flap here. Okay, you can put a flashlight in there, put your pliers. Okay, if you want to take one of these off, okay, and just go take it fishing. Okay, stuff you some things in there, or you know, just use it for a bag. I mean, you could use it for to pack for vacation, I don't know. You put socks and underwear in here. You do whatever you want. There's so many things. But guys, you know, that's what makes it great. Really versatile. Okay, and the last thing that I really like about it is just the fact that if I want to take it somewhere, it's easy, okay? It comes with this nice shoulder strap. So if I want to, uh, take it and put it in a, another one of my kayaks I can it's really easy I can take it from here put it in another milk crate that might already be mounted but maybe you got a buddy who uh, hold on a second maybe you got a buddy with the bass boat hello hey buddy with the bass boat what's going on man yeah yeah I'd love to go fishing yeah man I can be it, you're leaving pretty soon hey I can be ready in a second yeah, I got all my tackle together. Okay, all right, man, I'll be there shortly. All right, later. Hey, man, my buddy with the bass boat just called me. He wants me to go fishing. Uh, let me get all my fishing gear together. <laughs> Bam, there it is. So, guys, I appreciate you stopping by today. Hope you like what you see. We're going to do more gear reviews. We're going to get out on the water. We're going to talk about places to fish. We're going to get out hiking. The weather's starting to get nice. Uh, I got to show you my white legs today. Uh, we're going to start camping. Uh, we've got a lot of things coming up on this channel. And I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you come back. So subscribe. Hit like. Share the video. Tell your friends. Uh, the more that my name gets out there, the more I can get to people and try to help them. So, uh, hey, I'm going to navigate outdoors and I'm going to go fishing. So we'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. I'm going fishing.